What is up? What is up? What is up? This is George I. Court right back again with a mad week. This is IDC. And we are back. Damn, George, long hiatuses. What the fuck? Yeah. Life, things, broken hearted. Where do broken hearts go when the computers keep fucking up? Where do they go? Where do they go? Computer heaven. Computer something. something. Computer love. You got to show us some computer love. love. Well, hopefully we good today and so on and so forth. Moving on. I told you, think positive. Think positive. Think positive. Hey, Hey, that's my blood type. Be positive. Me too. Uh, no shit, you my sister. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can have different ones, can we? Yeah. Or can we? We can have different ones. All right, I don't know about the blood game. I'm a... Nope, I ain't even gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> ain't even gonna say that joke because no. it ain't true. It ain't true. At all. At all. Uh, so we back. Uh, th- I've been out. Uh, away. Out. Uh, traveling the seven seas and shit. Kind of almost, not really. Uh, what, let, let, let's start with you. What what have you been up to since the last time you've been on a mad week? What what, what you been doing? Oh, actually, my boss is back, which I'm so happy for. Mm-hmm. So it takes a little bit of pressure off me. So now I can actually do some things, mm-hmm. so what, schedule work? some things besides so a lot of work. Cool. A little, little, little less work. I actually went camping. Oh, you went camping. Yep, How was that for you? Nope. It was fun. That's your first time camping? Yes, that was. Actually, we, we took the RV over, but we actually stepped in a tent, so I did sleep you in. You stepped in a tent? I slept in you a slept tent. You slept in a tent. All right, so you slept in a tent, so yep. it's true camping. Yep. Uh, it was fun. One of those sites where it has like a place where you can shower, though. No, no oh, shower. It didn't, ha- it oh, didn't have a place to oh. shower. You had to yep. walk to the little whatever box thingy to use the bathroom and everything well it was still a hole in the ground but it was a closed in area (laughs) all right yeah it was real nasty yeah and it was no if you know me it got cold and i was really dreading in the middle of the fucking summer oh it was cold up there at the middle of the night yeah we were in flagstaff all right so cool cool but yeah uh, that was fun yeah i did it was fun cool 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 that's it? Just went camping? Yeah, camping and working and relaxing. Camping, so. working, relaxing. Sounds fucking great. It uh, was. It is. Dude, life is good. It is. Life is good. Things going well. Uh, well, told you on the last show that I put out late but did prior to my vacay that I was going on the Norwegian epic on a cruise a and cruise. boy oh motherfucking boy that was great that was great like I'm Tony sad, the Tiger yeah. and Frosted Flakes I need to show you uh, I, guess that the I missed, pictures. Yeah, I missed, I the, missed the presentation cause that's what the weekend that I yeah, went that, that you went had camping. yeah that you did uh, the presentation so I show a few pictures on here <coughs> while I, I'm talking but uh, I show you all the pictures, and for those of you who follow me on Instagram, I showed some. I think I still I still got uh, a day and some extras to show, so I'm not fully done showing those to you guys. Uh, Instagram and Facebook, y'all seen some of them, but uh, overall, we took over a, a thousand pictures uh, over these days. It was a great time. Uh, we start. We flew into Barcelona. Actually, we, uh, wifey and I flew to Chicago, and that's where I went golfing with Jake. Oh, fine. Uh, went golfing with my buddy from kindergarten. Yes. From Jakey. kindergarten. Yes. Uh, went golfing in Chicago, then went to Sweet Baby Ray's. Ooh. You know the barbecue sauce? Mm-hmm. Didn't even know they had like a real spot, Sweet Baby Ray's. And uh talked to the pre- people, and he said that... uh it was it wasn't like sweet baby ray's uh barbecue sauce came from the store right it's like he Maybe. had he yeah. had the barbecue sauce 
sold the barbecue sauce, but still wanted something, so he created the restaurant after it. Oh wow! It seems like it's usually the other, other way, way around. around. Like, oh, this yeah. this barbecue joint is popping. Ooh, we should sell the, that his barbecue sauce somewhere. Hmm. No, it actually happened the opposite way around. Nice so, way to do it. It, it. it was cool. It was delicious. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Uh, so from Chicago, flew to Barcelona, and that's where um, we hung out uh, the first night. Kicked it. Uh, walked around a little bit, you know, did did a little bit uh, before we had to jump on to the uh, boat the next day. The next day we jumped on the boat. Prior to jumping on the boat, we did a city tour. Ooh. We got on one of those, like, it was a double, double-decker double bus. Oh, like the ones that you see in London? Yeah, 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 yeah. But these, they have these buses all over uh, Europe, I guess, because huh. even when we went to the other spots, it was That's the same like, company, huh. Double Decker, and then you can just hop on, hop off, pay us one mountain, then see everything. So we did oh, that wow. in uh, Barcelona. Good times. Look at the pictures. <laughs> uh, so and then we got onto the boat. The uh, mm. first, first day on the boat was at sea. So we went you know, just went to our first stop, which was Naples, uh, Naples, Italy. Yeah, uh, that you think, oh, Italy, everything's glamorous, cool mm. and such. So we had like a excursion to do. Um, and so it was later on in like the afternoon or something like that. So we thought we'd get off the boat and go mosey around Naples, <laughs> check it out and shit. We got off the boat, went like a couple blocks, like, ugh, fuck this. <laughs> we'll just wait till the excursion. <laughs> oh, wow. It, it just, it, there was like a couple like castles you could see uh, right like a block away, take pictures. Yeah. One was close, one was far. But then it was just like, like a downtown big city. It wasn't nothing special. Oh, and like little yeah. uh, tourists, like little shops that look it was shitty shops it wasn't cool <laughs> shit like we were used to so we just went back to the boat kicked waited. it and then uh waited for our excursion our excursion took us to uh pompeii Ooh. uh see the ruins of pompeii uh nice. before we got there we went to a cameo manufacturer uh cameo is like a j piece of jewelry mm. you know those okay. like the little white women is usually a little white woman Profile. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Yeah. Okay. You knew I was talking about. <laughs> when you did that, <laughs> the picture on the picture. Yep. Because it's got his back, the background, and then the lady kind of sits out yes. on it. Yeah. So we went there, uh, saw how, <laughs> uh, like a manufacturer of how that was made and all that stuff. Oh, so about that's neat. It, it was cool. It was cool. But uh, Pompeii was cool. Saw that shit. Good times. Got back on the boat. Next place <laughs> uh, we went to was Rome. Oof. Rome. That now that was fucking cool. I, uh, uh, we went and saw the Colosseum. I already said the places. I was like, make sure you go uh, see. Make sure you. Yeah, we didn't go inside the Colosseum. The person on the like the bus told us that it really wasn't anything special. And plus the line oh, to get to get I in there bet. and the cost, it, it just wasn't gonna be worth it. Oh, so wow. we chose not to. Walked all the way around. Um, saw the little Colosseum. There's a little Colosseum. Mm. Uh, saw the. What's the, in the, the little fountain? Oh, it, it it was in it. They use it similar to the big Colosseum. The big Colosseum was bigger because they used to fill the, it up yeah. with water and like recreate battle. Yeah, uh, like uh, battleship like fights and shit. Oh wow. The other one was more like people uh like fighting each other and like oh. uh like plays the, and shit. So it was still the sa same same thing just, just, same. just a little bit smaller. Gotcha. So basically so, it was a replica of the big one. Yes. Gotcha. That's yes. what I was so you could go in the inside of that one, basically say you was inside I, the. No, I didn't go inside that shit either. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all that. But I'm just saying I, you could say you were inside the big one if you went into the replica. I don't know because I don't know what was inside the other one. That's true. But it's not a replica. It's just a, another one. It's like saying like Small one state. Yeah, it's like saying uh, one stadium is a replica of the other stadium when there's just two stadiums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if they're it's identical. Just, 
I didn't say they were identical. <laughs> it's just a small coliseum, man. Okay. Jeez. This lady here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, damn. Hey. But anyways, we saw all kinds of shit. The, the fountain. What's the name of the fountain? Trevi Fountain. The tre- we saw the Trevi Fountain. Uh, the circus. What? What's the name of the circus place? Cirque. <laughs> I don't know. It's where the they like the horses go and and like do like the jousting mm-hmm. type shit and the chariot races. Yeah, I know. You shit know. like that. Big. Yeah, it's a big like track type shit. Yeah. Saw that stuff. Cool. It. Man, it was cool as hell because you're seeing stuff that you only seen in books and on TV and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. I bet. Uh, the next spot we went to was Pisa in Florence. Yeah. So, uh, Leaning Tower of Pisa, we did our little yeah. picture with a, you know, uh, I'm pushing it over, wifey's holding it up and shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and you to. see, and you see, walk around and you see everybody doing those. Yeah, of course. Them. You have you to say see. like, ha, ah, look at that. <laughs> oh, man, oh, that's a good idea. Right there. That's good. I might have to do that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was just cool. Uh, we made sure to eat a piece of pizza mm. in pizza just wow. to say we did it. Just to say we did it. Why the fuck not? That's kind Shit. of a tongue twister. Yeah, pizza, pizza, and pizza. Ooh, good one. Hey, I, I've been doing it for a while, man. Huh? Been practicing that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so went to Pisa, then went to Florence, saw the... Re- now, this was a true replica uh, of the Statue of David, the naked mm, white dude. Yeah. So uh, the Statue of David used to be in the center, but they took it and put it into a museum yeah. and put a replica in the spot. Okay. And we saw the replica because we didn't want to have to go all the way to the museum, pay for the museum. It's like, yeah, fuck it. I see this. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Also, let's go back one stop. And when we was in Rome, we also went over to the Vatican. Ooh. Yes, and we went oh, to the Sistine Chapel and to the museum. Yes. And we got the pictures of the the dude, you know, laying down dude of the Sistine Chapel. Yeah. The, got pictures. You ain't supposed to take pictures yeah. uh, because they sold the rights to the Chinese. So they don't let people take pictures of that. Although, I just seen on the internet, you know, uh, the little kid from uh, Blackish. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Miles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the son. Is, is, mm-hmm. it, yeah, Miles is his real name, and I, I'm I follow him on Instagram because his dad is my buddy's buddy from high school and shit. So I follow him. They just went over to Italy, and di- and he seeing did. the same shit. They went inside the Coliseum and then went inside the Vatican. And he got like actual pictures. It's like how oh, the fuck he do wow. that? How do he do that? I got some with me, you know, looking up and trying to sneak the motherfuckers. But he just got some. A little jelly, but not really. No. I was there. You, I was say, you I was there. there to see it in person, so you can say. exactly. And it, it uh, and it's cool, you know, seeing other people uh, have pictures. Oh, I'm in Italy. Like, yep, I've been there. I was, <laughs> man, I was right there. <laughs> uh, the last place we went to was Palma, Mallorca, Spain. Mm. Uh, it's an island off the coast of Spain, and it, it was just a. Uh, it, it's where they make like reproduce pearls you know how uh, a oh. pearl is made inside of a clam's yeah. mouth or whatever how, how, oyster over time, it's a clam yeah. or so what, yeah. one of them damn it's made sand. out of sand yeah, yeah it's made out of sand over time yeah the pressure and all that stuff right well they do that uh with a machine and heat and all that stuff they recreate that process hmm. and make pearls and we went through a factory hmm. and did saw that shit uh overall Europe, the Spain. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Missed a stop. We went to Cannes, France. We went, yeah. What, like the Cannes Film Festival? Yeah. Stopped there. We didn't really chill in France. We went to this place called Ez and went up where it was like a fucking castle, like mm-hmm. community on top of this mountain. So we saw how it was to live like 
in the ca- like when people lived in castles and yeah, right. like kingdoms and shit up on top of mountains, and people still like uh, have vacation homes there. Oh wow! And still live up in that motherfucker. Huh. And then we went. Perfume capital of France, by the way. Oh, Perfume wow. capital of France. And after that, we went over to Monaco. So uh, on this trip, I saw the two smallest countries in the world. Uh, the Vatican is its own little country. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I and then uh, that they have their my, own coin, too. They have their own, own money. Vatican. Yeah. Look it up. Uh, Look it up. I don't know about that. I think Look they up. use the euros. They do, but they have their own money too. Oh, probably. So, yeah. All right, and then <laughs> Monaco is the second smallest, which is a couple kilometers uh, <coughs> square foot wise, and that was cool as fuck. Saw where the Mon- the Grand Prix Monaco mm. Grand Prix was run was down me. the rock. It was just it, a great. Yes, I bet. It was a great time. I had a great time. I bet. That was my trip, you jelly. Yep. Don't be. Because you too can go and do these things because it's available to everybody. It's fun. And, dude, I like doing it on a uh, cruise because you go see a bunch of shit and then you don't have to stay there because you stay a couple days at some of these places. Like, I already seen that. All right, now we're just chilling in the fucking mm. hotel doing Dilly's fucking squat. So I liked it. Wifey thought it was a little bit rushed, but I liked it because I like to like go see. All right. Ooh, shit. Get all this shit. Man, I seen a lot of shit. I liked I liked it a lot. But anyways, that was me. European vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, like European vacation. Hey, I, 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 I like to get shit done. That's what I do. But anyways, while I was away, things happened. A mad week. Um, what happened? A mad week. Because uh, I've missed some stuff. You know what? I think I, I decided to just be more current. Do uh, more current shit. Oh, One thing... Oh, oh, what was up? Did you the the one thing that really got me that kind of touched a little little place was the baby mixer? Oh, that was that all right. Was, where we where we at? Yeah. All right, we we can go for I'm it. I'm sorry, but that was just one thing because that's the only thing that kind of stood out for me. I've been missing so much, but that one thing kind of how why. What? All right, so <laughs> what my sister is discussing right now is that a woman gave birth to twin boys after IVF, uh, but the babies were not hers. IVF, uh, in vitro fertilization. Um, that this this is crazy. Uh, yes. They they went to a fertility doctor to get assistance with trying to. Uh, help this couple uh, make create children for themselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, they actually went to the doctor. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I guess they chose to have uh, a female baby because four out of five of the uh, embryos were mm-hmm. female. But you, I think they were her eggs. None of these were even hers. Oh, hold up, hold up. So, <laughs> I mean... so when they, in the process, they chose four out of five of the That's embryos female. that were implanted in her to be females. Comes out that um, not only were they not females, uh, and in a sonogram, they were like, hey... We were we were expecting females. Uh, this looked like boys. They were like, well, they, you know, they ain't always right on the sonogram. <laughs> they ain't always right. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we good. Uh, she gives birth to the to, to the twin boys. So therefore, like, uh oh, something may have gone wrong. <laughs> twin boys when I was expecting girls. Plus, <laughs> plus the the woman who gave birth was Asian. <laughs> Neither of these babies were Asian. <laughs> so it comes to find out that these two twins were not 
uh, her eggs. That, not her eggs. These two babies were not from the man's sperm. Catch this. <laughs> These two babies were not related to each other. <laughs> at all. At, at all. Was it? There's more. <laughs> Don't you think, though, that, you know, you get an ultrasound at whatever, however many weeks you are to find out what you're having. So don't you think they knew? Yes. And not only that, but with today's they, technology. They had to have known before she gave birth that these were boys in her belly. They did. Yeah, they, they knew. They, did. they, they oh, said, they yeah. They and, did. Uh, they knew. Oh, they did. Okay. They were like, well, the sonogram not always is right. But now uh, let's keep the, going on. But nowadays with the 3D imaging and everything, uh, hey. But still, all right. But anyway, <laughs> all right. You wanted girls. Uh, you end up getting boys. You know what? It's a blessing to just have children, being that we had to go through IVF to begin <laughs> with. I guess we'll take these boys. But to find out, they ain't even yours. Mm -mm. Ain't the daddies. Or the mamas. Ain't the, ain't the mamas. Either. Ain't the daddies. These two twins. That ain't, ain't even twins. They, they're not even... <laughs> genetically <laughs> alike they're, they're not made up uh, the twins not related to mother father or each other uh, so the woman had the the mother and father had to give up custody and they filed federal lawsuit uh, for me medical malpractice mm -hmm. negligence mm -hmm. battery mm -hmm. intentional infliction of emotional distress mm -hmm. uh, the couple said they paid over a hundred thousand dollars for this process now you're saying there's more. The couple was what in California, yes. and yes. the new and the eggs were in New York. The Asian couple lives in New York. Yeah, Asian one, couple the, lives the in New York. The people that had yep. the baby lives in New York, and the babies belong to people in California. One of the babies belonged to a couple. <laughs> how about the other Cali baby? <laughs> that they we never they never <laughs> said yet. So how does this New York stuff get? From, actually, how does this California stuff get to New York? So, there's just too many questions, and it's, yeah. And my thing is, in being the parents on the other end of this, all of a sudden you get a phone call saying, hey. We got a baby for you. <laughs> we got your baby. We need you to come and take a DNA <laughs> test. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. it's just that kind of like... There's just too many. What? It, it's a lot of bullshit <laughs> going on with that, and yeah, I, I definitely sue. They are gonna sue. Uh, and the this. other couple with the babies that had to take the one child that shows up, they're suing too. Uh, of course, everybody involved. Yeah. Then it's, so you got to think this sue. other person. It's like now we got a baby that we. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing to have children, but we weren't expecting this one. Exactly. We, this, you know, we went here. Mm -hmm. We we may or may not have had ours already that we thought mm -hmm. we was gonna have, and now we got another one. Ooh. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was um mad, mad, a, a mad week. week. <laughs> a mad week. Speaking of a mad week, did you hear about? <laughs> Chance the Snapper? Did you hear about Chance the Snapper? No. Chance the Snapper <laughs> is an alligator that got loose in Chicago. <laughs> it was a five foot three inch uh, alligator that was running loose in Chicago. Um, and locals named it <laughs> Chance the Snapper. <laughs> Uh, it was running around loose for uh, about a week or so. Then they called this dude up from Florida. A uh, Florida man was uh -huh. hired to uh, catch Chance the Snapper. Frank Robb. And now he's a local hero. He also got uh, invited to throw out the first pitch at Wrigley Field for oh, one of the wow. games. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Chance where the did they say where this gate? Where did they didn't say where? Where, it came where did from Chance there. come from? Uh, he was hanging around, hanging around like a like a wet area, wetland oh, or something wow. like that. And, and yeah, not not supposed to be there, especially in Chicago. Yeah. So that's uh, wow. Chance the snapper got relocated back to. Well, I don't know if he came from Florida. <laughs> he got relocated to Florida. 
Chance the Snapper <laughs> is going going back to Florida. <laughs> he going on Florida. vacation. He's like, Florida. we, hey, bye. He moving on up. Hey. Oh, they did say uh, the preserve that they are putting them in. They said it was like a like a four seasons or some see, shit for see? alligators. There yeah, you go. He, instead of possibly he getting ran over. And became on a belt uh, or some or become, shoes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> getting ran over in snow traffic. <laughs> Ooh. Dude. Yeah, I'd rather be in Florida than Chicago. <laughs> But I bet you a bunch of people rather have been in Atlanta during this time. Uh, what happened in Atlanta? You, you, uh, how long did you live in Atlanta for? A long time. What? Yeah. When did you get there? What year? You know? Uh, telling, 97? 97, and then, uh, you left there, what, 2015? Some, mm, 2015? Something like that. 2015, 2016? Well, an armored truck drops $175,000 oh. worth of cash on the ATL Interstate. Do you know what? where Interstate Se- 285 is? Ooh, yes. What, what, what's, it, 285 what? takes you around Atlanta. So basically, it's like if you're coming into town, you're going around. 75 takes you through the city. So basically, anybody so going 285 oh, is around all right, so uh, Interstate 285. Um, some people got out of the car uh, and started filming on their phone. Oh, And no. some others got out of the car to grab. grab. If you were grabbing, you were busted from the ones that were filming because now you're yeah. a federal fence, federal case, and you are brought up on charges. Well, not Dang. not necessarily a felony. Uh, 911 was called, and... Um, Nine one was called, stating that 15, approximately fifteen cars pulled over to <laughs> pick up the money. Uh, keeping the money is a crime, and cops are using the social media footage mm. to catch uh, the people who were taking and grabbing the cash. Uh, one man turned in twenty one hundred dollars. Another man turned in five hundred. <laughs> uh, I think See, that would that that have been more like it. You yeah. got me. Yeah, you exactly. got me. Uh, Here you go. I think it, at the time of the article that I read, about forty four hundred out of one hundred and seventy five thousand <laughs> had been returned. Hey. But for the smart people, it's like the dude. Once again, somebody <laughs> said five hundred. That that's that's a pretty round number. Yeah. How much did he really get though? Yeah. Hey, they got me on film, so I'm giving them something. That, I'm taking this twenty thousand. I give. Give five hundred. That Get 500. I'm sorry, but that would have been my. That's, that's my def- thinking that about it. That would definitely been my. Uh, that my was thing. my thinking about it. If you got me, regardless, of knowing that you pretty much everybody has, everybody has film. Everybody has their cameras on everybody. So, yeah. And here's a <laughs> here's an honest man right here. Oh, giving up back the five hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, giving back some of the money. That was lost. Yeah. Did he give it all? We Even don't know. No. But, but he hey. got a picture of being a good Samaritan. That would have been. It, and it relieves him of being uh, convicted. Uh, it says theft of or. Smart. Oh, uh, the crime is yes. theft of lost or mislaid property. And it's a felony or misdemeanor depending on the amount. <laughs> so I can't remember the dollar amount when something turns from misdemeanor to felony. Yeah, but get... then you have to think about it with all the people how and people turning money in. You still don't. They well, these armor trucks are going to be insured anyway. Yeah, all the so money is insured. The, yeah, so the money's insured. Somebody's gonna lose a job. Possibly. For the simple fact that do- how does that what it the just side, fell it said, off? No, it said the side door was came came ajar. So uh, whoever came went out that side drawer, because if you've ever seen them yes. coming in and out, they don't play. Yes. Even if they come in, in your store to do pick up and drop offs, they might hee hee and hop, but they do not play. <laughs> uh, they, well, these people did play, and, and not somebody else that didn't play was uh, oh, I told you how. We flew in and out of Barcelona mm-hmm. uh, on the cruise. Mm-hmm. Well, at a uh, Barce- at the Barcelona airport, this man, 
this man right here got uh, busted. As you can see in the left picture is him wearing a toupee. In the right picture, it shows you what is actually under that toupee. It is 503 grams of cocaine. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm trying to wait. What the? Oh, uh, 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 wow. Yeah. Does, oh, does that even look real? Does that hair no, even look real? It looks, wow, dude. No, come on, that now. hair looks fake. Come on. But he went come, from. As they say, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> no. uh, he, arrived, he arrived on a flight from Bogota, um, Colombia to Barcelona. And he had. They didn't stop him in Colombia? That's, that's why I they thought. They really. But then again, it, it is the Colombia airport. Somebody probably had an in. Like, hey, they had already paid like, them come, to come get. On. Come on this way, bro. They did. Come on this way. Come on. So he th- couldn't shake two heads. Yeah. He's like, yeah. look. Come on. <laughs> you don't do it, but come on. <laughs> um, 503 grams, wow. approximately a half a kilo, uh, <laughs> worth $33,000. Uh, like I said, arrived on a flight from Bogota to Barcelona. The, p- the package was glued to his head. No, it wasn't. <laughs> well, it, and you, can, you can see the was, glue. So oh. it was glued, it was glued, and then the toupee was just flopped on top. There was a hor- whoever did that was they it, need it to was, be beat. It was horrible. It was horrible. He was he was the decoy. Oh, they got somebody yeah, else. Went. They somebody else went through with a whole lot more than that five gram. Somebody went through with some tons, some keys, some serious money because ain't no way. <laughs> We got you. Yeah, all this commotion over here, and they just let all this just go on. Yeah, uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, th- yeah. that was a decoy. <laughs> uh, the article I, stay, uh, I saw stated that Barcelona Airport is one of the major places for uh, South American mm. drugs to be filtered into Europe. So yeah. this guy got caught. Decoy. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Speaking of people getting caught, uh, unfortunately, this happened uh, in our own backyard here. Um, This guy right here. Man kills a 17-year-old in a Circle K because the teen was listening to rap music. This is Michael Adams. Uh, Ain't we have enough of those? He used a pocket knife to stab the teen in the back and slit his throat. Oh, my God. Uh, He was arrested two days after being released from a jail uh, in Yuma where he was serving uh, 13 months for aggravated assault. At the time of his arrest for this crime, he was homeless. Uh, and if he's convicted, if convicted, if uh, convicted, he may be up for a life in prison or the death penalty. Mm. It's unfortunate. It's a bunch of bullshit, bigotry, and just shit. And really? They still do that now? Kill people over their music? <laughs> over their music? But, over their music. But uh, as the story states, um, he had just gotten out. Uh, it's one of these people who just don't deserve to be in mm. society. He just got out two days prior. Didn't have a place to stay. He was he looking probably, he for was, a way to get it try, back yeah, in. He was trying anyway. to go for when them criminal institutionalized. Yes, institutionalized. But hey, some people it's sad, but still, did somebody have to die over it? Somebody died, and he may have been listening to Tupac. Speaking of Tupac, that's my mm, transition. Nice. That's my transition. Jerry Foxhoven, I think it's Jerry Foxhoven. I think that's his name. Jerry uh, was fired from Iowa's Department of Human Uh-oh. Services. Iowa. Okay. Jerry Foxhoven was fired from Iowa's Department of Human Services after sending an email to 4,300 employees Uh praising Tupac. (laughs) Now, you may laugh, but this man didn't do shit wrong. He liked, he might have was pushing his own music on other people, but it wasn't like he was like being too annoying. As a matter of fact, a lot of people were like telling him how they appreciated what he did because oh, wow. what he was doing, he, he would send out regular emails using Tupac quotes as inspirational. Oh, like, quotes. Yeah. yeah. This guy right here. This Ooh. guy. Iowa guy. 
uh, he sends uh, he sent out hundreds of emails to co-workers as inspirational quotes uh, also he invited others to his office for Tupac Fridays hey what did, what did I, what? this sound, I sound like say, a good ass yeah, boss what, did, what, hey. what happened on Tupac Fridays I want to know what happened on Tupac Fridays uh, where, where Jerry work now where, yeah. where he work now I think Jerry is my boss <laughs> uh, on his 65th birthday party at work uh -huh. He had a Tupac themed birthday party oh, fun. with cookies that said Thug Life on them. Fun. This fun. sounds like a fun guy. Yeah. That sounds like a fun so guy. So he lost his job for praising well, somebody he in, he liked. I just cause it says it was coincidental that he was fired shortly after he he emailed uh co-workers a reminder to co-workers of Tupac's B-Day which was also Father's Day oh wow so he's like hey you know celebrate by right. playing you know some Tupac but he also included on that email one of uh, Tupac's inspirational quotes pay no mind to those who talk behind your back it simply means that you are two steps ahead mm. and he got fired for that what, what was wrong with that Haters. Haters. <laughs> Haters. That's all that was. Haters. It, but then it makes you wonder, what is some, like I said, like I always say, no matter what you do, you're going to offend somebody somewhere for something. Because yeah. you can get, how many times do somebody send you or you'll get an email oh, or something? Oh, just stupid shit. Exactly. And it's like, whatever. And you pay it no mind, just keep going. Well, I mean, this man lost his job just for saying how great he thought Tupac, Tupac was. was. And it's not the typical type of person that you think is a Tup Tupac <laughs> fan. But you never... That, that goes... You so can't the, the judge, don't judge people by, the, uh, by, yeah, by what they look like. As a matter of fact, when I first got into insurance, I went over to Virginia and met a guy. I'm going to say, and I ain't saying all white people look alike, but he looks similar to this. Uh, you know, he was bigger, white guy, older, gray haired mm -hmm. guy. This man told me about how his favorite rap group was uh, no, well, his favorite rapper was CeeLo Green. Oh wow! And he told me about like this Jay Z uh mixtape. Uh, it was this uh, it was a mix. Well, whoever CeeLo Green's like a uh, partner with in that uh. Yeah, good hey, uh, yeah. Well, that yeah. that dude is like a DJ or whatever, and he created like this uh, mixtape between Jay Z's Black album and uh, the Beatles White album, and I fucking love it. <laughs> and this, the guy that looked like this, was the one that taught me about it. Hey. <laughs> so don't don't judge by a yeah. book. don't judge a book by its cover. You yes. never know. You never know. Uh, speaking of uh, coloration hate hating uh, coloration you, holleration coloration hating <laughs> as you have heard oh, yeah. uh, the new live action uh, Little yeah, Mermaid yeah. Disney film is giving people an uproar because they cast Halle Bailey uh, from Halle and Chloe um, the R&B group mm. that Beyonce Found or whatever, uh, people are in a uproar because they cast her as Ariel. Does it matter? Does it matter? What? What? Tell me. Tell me your opinion on this, and not because I got my own opinion. My thing is, like I keep saying, you're gonna offend somebody no matter what you do. So for them to do that, and then you got to think, oh, there's a lot of people upset about a lot of the remakes that they're doing. Not only because of the race, but just because of the remakes. But I really don't care. You don't care? All right. With me. On that one. <laughs> oh, on that one. All right. On All that right. one. <laughs> I understand both sides of things. I understand how, you know, uh, there needs to be diversity in some of this shit. Uh, that right. We, like. Yeah, it's all right to uh, have black people in like major roles right. that may have seen this, uh, a different race in that spot. Yeah. Uh, on on some of my things that I feel passionate about, 
I want the things to look the same fucking way as they used to look. Certain things, there's so, just certain things I don't care. So on, like on this one, I like Hallie because I watch her on Grownish mm-hmm. and yeah. I respect her like, right. music and all that stuff. So I respect that. So uh, it didn't hit me as hard, but I understood where people were coming from. I understand. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I say that because when the second live action GI Joe film came out. G.I. Joe mm. Retaliation. They both suck. They both those movies both <laughs> suck balls. But I I, I grew up watching G.I. Yeah. Joe Transformers He Man. Yeah. So that was my shit. Yeah. So when the second one came out and I heard Roadblock, Roadblock was my d- Roadblock yeah. was my dude. Yeah. That's my dude. He was the even the only the only black man. On. No, he wasn't the only, but he was the, the black. Big, he yeah. was the black man that I identified with. I identified with Roadblock as a youngin, and then to change that to be the Rock. Hey. What? No, Roadblock <laughs> don't look like no fucking Rock. Rock don't look like Roadblock. That ain't right. Guess who should have been Roadblock? Terry Crews. <laughs> Ooh. How is that just the personality, the look? That's what it is. Now, is that racist? No. No. That's no. just I want my shit to look the way it is, the, like 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 I used to like I used to see it. So yeah. people who are as passionate about the Little Mermaid as the same passion for the Little Mermaid that I have the same passion for GI Joe, I understand where they're coming no. from. No. But not only that, you can't really, that's, I can see that, but I can't for the simple fact you still have a black roadblock. I can see if they put roadblock the, as the a. The rock ain't black. Well, still. The rock is Samoan. I know. That ain't black. But still, he. No, he don't embodies black. No, <laughs> Just because his name is Dwayne. I was not <laughs> going to say that. <laughs> I was not going well, to say, say that. Okay. I could say, put it this way. Would you like, put, that's like putting Hulk Hogan as Roadblock. That's what I'm trying to say. It's the same shit. All right, once again, Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> or The Rock. Terry that should, Crews. That should be a poll. Rock. Terry Crews or The Rock Terry as Roadblock. Terry Crews, Rock as this guy. Come on. Come on. I I see what you're saying. So I I do understand about that. But I didn't have too much of a situation because I like Halle Bailey. Um, So that's that's what I think about it. Everybody ain't going to agree with me at all on that. But that's how I feel. I like my shit. Oh, and they're like, oh, Ariel's a fictional character, so it could be any fucking body. Yeah, so a Shaft is a fucking fictional character. <laughs> you see a fucking white person become Shaft, I bet you there's some bullshit. Oh. I bet you. It depends. Look, it depends on the white you know dude. You damn well. You put Mac- Matthew McConaughey as the Shaft. <laughs> Man. Matthew McConaughey wouldn't do it if he would do it. Some Matthew McConaughey. I say if you, I, certain things if you put the right person. No. It, who could you think of that could play a shaft, white, a white, a white shaft. shaft? Nobody. It's like a black Pee Wee Herman. That's Jalil White. I mean, no, her <laughs> Urkel. No, that's Urkel. No, Pee Wee Herman. No. Get out of here. On to the next one. Oh, no. Because you're uh, thinking, I'm thinking Urkel. So that's why I'm thinking P.B. No, Herman. So, no, yeah. No. But anyways, <laughs> uh, others to round out that cast is Aquafina as Scuttle, Melissa McCarthy as Ursula, mm. Javier Bardem as King Triton, and Harry Styles as Prince Eric. But the main situation was turning Ariel into a black girl. So I see them. No uh, problem. But I right. understand. I understand both ways. Yeah. Due to my roadblock issues. I can't wait to see Melissa McCarthy as Ursula. Though that, that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be. <laughs> that's cool. gonna be dope. I love uh, Melissa McCarthy. Speaking of more race, uh-oh. uh and I usually don't like to bring this motherfucker up, but guess what? Uh oh. He Trump. 
Uh, he sends out a racist tweet aimed at oh. the four congresswomen. Um, uh, let's, I'll just go ahead and put it up. Yeah. Uh, the main part is, why don't they go back and help <coughs> fix the totally broken and crime-infested places from which they came? Wow. That's what our president, our, our, our commander-in-chief, said. Uh like I said, totally broken and crime-infested places from which they came. Well, Mr. Trump, <laughs> uh, three out of the four were born right here <laughs> in the United States of America. Wow. And the uh, fourth one was born in uh, Somalia and became a naturalized citizen mm. at the age of 17. Wow. These so are people in Congress. Do you not know? These you are, have to be a These part are of American citizens. Yes. Yeah. Don't you know that you gotta be a citizen being in that shit? You, don't, you didn't know that? You didn't know that? Alright, so he sends out that bullshit. Uh, and he's referring to, you ready for some fucked up names? Uh -oh. Because I'm gonna fuck them up. I ain't saying their names are fucked up. I'm saying I'm gonna fuck them up. Uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. I think I might have got that one right. Might. She is uh, out of New York. Uh, Elian Omar out of Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Ayanna Presley out of Massachusetts. Massachusetts. That's what I'm going to fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to fuck up that hood state like, name. I was, I was getting all these names. Everybody's like getting the names right. Mm -hmm. Massachusetts really bro. Massachusetts. Really bro. Massachusetts. <laughs> uh, then Rashida Talib, I think it is. T-L-A-I-B yeah, out of Michigan. Talib. Wow. And like I said, Omar is the only one uh, that was not born and raised. But he uh, is. Oh, She. Uh, oh, but but she is a naturalized U.S. Uh, citizen. Um, at it, uh, at an event on the White House, he doubled down on what the oh, bullshit, wow. saying that if you're not happy, if you're not happy here, you can leave. That's all, at an event at the White House, and then... Uh, triple down. Uh, well, he just, he, he wow. tripled down. He a, tripled down there to everybody and lost them. Uh, I ain't say this motherfucker can't lose right now. He is there, not losing. There is, is something. Something's gonna. I don't something. see how I he don't, is. I don't, I don't get it. Like the motherfucker ain't losing. He knows something. But right uh, once again, he tripled down by mm, uh, mm, at a rally in uh, <laughs> North Carolina. He was. Uh, like brought them up and uh, oh. the crowd behind them chanted, chanted referring to Omar, the oh. one from uh, Minnesota, send her back. Send her back. Oh. This, this is fucking ridiculous. Send her back where? She Perfect. is from, she's here. What, she's, she's, here. A she's a citizen She's now. a citizen, so it doesn't matter. You can't send her anywhere. Send no, her where? Send her to her house? Exactly. I mean, send her to her send room? Send her to the job for the Congress? I mean, <laughs> send her where? She, she represents you. It's ridiculous. I don't and get I, how I don't, he is I still... I understand. <sighs> it, it, it's frustrating. It pisses me off. You? I th uh, it, it, a lot of people. It pisses a lot of people off. A lot of people. Hopefully something... Vote. Uh, uh, Get out there and vote. Uh, I, see, I ain't even gonna say that because I, I am. I, 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 I am. I'm sorry. Until, Get, that's what. Get out and vote. Get it out there. Once again, he shouldn't have won the previous he, vote. Get out there and vote. The, he didn't have the numbers. It's so. a. Get it's out there stupid. and vote. All right. Vote. On to the next one. Oh, might as well go ahead and say, uh, rest in peace to. Parnell Whitaker. Uh, unfortunately, Parnell Sweet, Parnell Sweet P. Whitaker Sweet. died on Sunday at the age of 55 in Virginia Beach after getting struck by a car. Uh, he was a gold medal winner and a champion oh, in four wow. different weight classes. Uh, apparently, he was crossing the street uh, at night uh, at an intersection when a car struck him. It didn't seem to be ha have oh. any foul play, no alcohol, no drugs. Uh they just think he was wearing dark clothes and the driver did Didn't not see, see him. him. Oh. Uh, the driver stopped and waited for the cops and everything oh, to show wow. up. Uh, he died. He just uh, part else died at the scene. Freak accident. Yeah, it's unfortunate. That's why I so. tell people, do not wear black at night. If you're going to be walking the streets, people do not see you. 
Yep. So uh, rest in peace, Carnell. <gasps> Sweet P. Sweet P. Whitaker. Mm. Uh, I haven't been here for a while, so uh, I also want to say congratulations. Haven't said congratulations to the U.S. women's soccer team yet. Oh, congratulations. They won the World Cup. Good oh. job, ladies. Good job. Good congratulations. Job, I don't like soccer, but I, <laughs> I like me some U.S. of A, and I like women. So <laughs> congratulations, U.S. soccer team. All right. Um, what uh, what's the next one? Pick a card. Any card? Pick a card. Any card. Third one. Third one. All right. Detroit Music Fest. All right. Music festivals. Music but in, fest. Yeah. Detroit Music Fest. And it's funny you you picked this one because the, the, we go back to race. Oh lord. Well, uh, the Afro the, Music Fest in Detroit was charging more money for white people <laughs> than blacks. <laughs> Uh, the old pricing was twenty dollars for POC, people, people of, of color, color. <laughs> and forty dollars for non POC. Oh. Uh, the early bird special was ten dollars if you were POC, twenty dollars for non POC. Uh, they end up changing it after backlash. Uh, yeah, uh, huh? that's just uh, wrong. Uh, they changed after a biracial hip hop artist uh, pulled out and Eventbrite decided that it wasn't uh that's wrong thing. it is wrong <laughs> it is definitely wrong i'm i'm the main motherfucker about equality and all this stuff and then I, i've heard stuff on different um media places and it's like hold up made me think about it a little bit more so if there was like a jewish event like a Jewish like uh, thing downtown, mm -hmm. and they say if you wear traditional Jewish garb, you get ten dollars off. Okay, I'm How going to go get some Jewish garb and go in here. Yeah, but most likely, you ain't gonna have traditional Jewish garb unless you're Jewish. But or whatever. still, I can or, go get something. And then, something. like a Veterans Day parade that gives a discount to veterans. <laughs> I'm not a veteran, but no, I, that's something no, I'm not gonna. No, it's not, but this was a uh, Afro music fest for it's supposed to celebrate African American right. uh, customs so I kind of see where they're going it and they, would, they're also trying to say that uh, like like basically African Americans uh, throughout the country make a smaller wage than but more still, white people I, so therefore they were trying to give a little bit of a a, bo uh, a boost, discount. but still, if you were gonna do that, I wouldn't say that big of a discount. If you the tickets were twenty ten dollars to start, I'd say charge them fifteen. You know, don't charge it like double it. You literally it, it doubling. Dumb. You're doubling. I could say two dollars or even a dollar or something like that, but to double it, that is just wrong. Now, I like <laughs> I said, my initial reaction was the same as you. It's like, oh, that is fucked up. You shouldn't, because all you're doing is creating separation. Yeah. You're given a reason to segregate, and that's not cool. But you tend to see shit like this all the time when it's in other people's favor. Like I said, a uh, certain event for a certain group, they get a certain discount on that. But yet, if it's Afro-American uh, base. They can't do the same thing as some of the other groups. But the thing about other, it other is, events. the way you said it, you said if you come in that garb, so I can go well, in that I'm just, garb. That was, that, that was just another, an that was just an example. An example, that, but still, if there's like a stipulation of why, if you, my discount is my is because of my race or something like that, and somebody else's is because they're not, then no. But if I can, my discount is because I'm wearing something and they're not wearing it, then yeah, you didn't wear what you were supposed to wear. Right. So you don't have to, you got to pay full price, yeah. All right, this. That's what this I'm is, saying. This is kind of close, but not really. Do you think it would be bad to give circumcised men a discount to a pickle eating contest? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know. All right, <laughs> next. <laughs> All right. Uh, Monday and Tuesday was Amazon Prime Day for those of you who may or may not have known. <laughs> uh, 
And during those days, uh, some of the Amazon workers um, <coughs> went on strike oh, in, wow. up in Minnesota because they were asking for better uh, treatment, uh, better work treatment and all that stuff. They wanted humane workloads, job security, not temp jobs and high turnover, and stop unfair write-ups. Pretty much they're stating that uh, a lot of these uh, workers in the warehouse are just seasonal. Uh, they come in mm. uh, fill like certain time of the year where traffic is more heavy, yeah. like especially like Christmas. Like right. one of our cousins did right. that for a little bit. Uh, come in for the Christmas season, mm, just, and then you ain't got no job no more. They want, they don't, they want to be you know uh, full time. They want benefits and makes all that sense. stuff. It makes sense, but. Uh, Especially with the way your company goes, and you can still have a company and have all that, and still bring in people that are only seasonal when you need that influx of yeah. workers, but you still have a steady that you know is going to be here. I understand this, and yes, there should should be full time jobs for people. People should be able to make a livable wage and all that stuff, but. I'm more of a person that thinks like a motherfucking boss and not a worker be. People who think of, uh, as a boss be like, hey, you don't like your job? Find another <laughs> one. Damn, do I sound like Trump? If you don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> but it's serious. If you don't like your job, get a different job. And if you say there's not any jobs out there, maybe you should be happy about the job that you got. If you're not qualified to do something, maybe that's your fault for not being qualified to do something that's better and give you more money, have more flexibility and something like that. It, you, you don't have to have this job and I it's bet choices. you there's umpteen other people that would love to have this job being that you just said there's not that many jobs out there. Mm -hmm. You know? So... As a fucking boss, I am cutting fucking corners because that makes me get more motherfucking money that I can do whatever the fuck I want with, which might help the fucking community. <laughs> I would love to do all this stuff for different communities. Uh, and when I say community, I just talked about this with wifey the other night. I hate when they use the word community to mean black or race or like yeah. in your community. That, that yeah, you no. talking about black people. That ain't. Community. No. But anyway, I'm talking about communities. Just uh, There's a lot of shit around this world. If I became a billionaire, I'd be able to use that to wherever the fuck I can want to. I may not want to give this fucking person more money doing a fucking job I know it ain't worth. <laughs> Why am I giving you $18 to do a $12 job? <laughs> <laughs> If I did that umpteen times, umpteen times, that means there's less money on the back end. Think more like a goddamn boss. You don't like where you at? Improve it. Do something to improve your situation. Stop complaining about somebody else giving you a handout. Because that's all it's fucking asking for. And that's a rant with George I. Courtright. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, got a couple left. Oh, speaking yeah, of we speaking to... like a uh, acting like a boss. Unfortunately, you don't want to act like this YouTube executive. Uh oh, what did you, you didn't hear about this one? I, I you told were... you I haven't been. I you tried didn't... to. I oh. looked up even stuff to talk. So well, what is it? executive Christopher Coker. I, I think that's how you pronounce what his Christopher name. Do? Christopher Coker. Uh, went viral uh -oh. i think it was last week or so because he uh was leaving his apartment building with his son okay. and there was a black man oh lord in the lobby and he told the black man that uh he needs to leave or call his friend that he was waiting for or he was gonna call the police and the black man was like i don't need to do anything i'm you know uh, i'm not harming you i'm not worried about anything yeah. and the black man started filming him and so the uh chris coker decides he's gonna get on the phones like yeah there's a black man standing in the doorway here his son's like no 
daddy, no. Oh, <laughs> don't do, wow. I don't, he's doing nothing. Oh, the fucking son was saying it. Now it that's is, sad it's, when it your child sad. can see that you are in the wrong. Yes. Uh, then, uh, like, at the, at the end of the video, uh, <laughs> the black dude's, uh, like, friend or whatever ends up coming and all that stuff. Mm. And the white dude's like, oh, okay, his friend's here now. But by then, his son is in tears and oh. shit. I, I believe him, Daddy. Let's just go. Oh. <laughs> and it's just ridiculous. That is that the sad thing about that is you're doing this in front of your child, and your child sees what an asshole you are being for no fucking reason. It is ridiculous. It is that absolute. poor baby. It, it's just it's still. It's too. 2019 and unfortunately this whole bullshit with Trump is surfacing up a lot of it fucking is, that, bigatry that and is hatred. what it is and it sucks that but it, 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 it said people think nope because now certain people are thinking they are entitled to say and do what they want because they see this asshole saying and the doing what he cool. wants yeah. to anybody so he's like oh the president's doing it so psh, why can't I fuck that and that you're see, it, it is true. You're that is. I've never realized that. But yes, you are right. Since this asshole is in office, a lot of shit has started to just little shit like that. That's just uncalled for. It is. And my true. thing is, what if this dude actually lived in that building and on a that, different floor that you don't even know uh, that he lived in this yeah, building? Yeah, just because you you didn't know him or you haven't seen him. You haven't and, seen. And if he wasn't doing any harm or whatever, what was the uh, point? Oh, uh, I, I know. Uh, on some of the media things that I listened to, uh, they finally got like a statement out of the the executive dude, and it was like, well. Uh, I wanted to do something because I've seen uh, people get hurt in si similar situations such as that. So I want to, uh, you know, make sure something didn't happen. But if you were really afraid of anything, why would you stand in harm's way with your child if you were exactly. really afraid of what this man may do? And it you is, have your bullshit. child with you. It's now, once did you think about your child for the simple fact that this baby is screaming and telling you, this little child is telling you, you are in the wrong. Let's go. Stop. No. And you continue on and continue on and continue on. What are you teaching your child? Bullshittery. That's what you're <laughs> teaching your child. It's just sad. It's but sad. anyways, sad. I have more stories, but we have reached our time, and it's time for us to mosey on to see a movie. We'll tell you about the movie next time. Uh, I was going to tell you about previous movies and some other shit, but that's going to have to wait till next time. Yes. This is George I. Court, right? This is... IDC. Thank you. We back, baby. We, we back. back. I don't know when we coming back, <laughs> but we back now. Thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs>